A car is going over the top of a hill whose curvature approximates a circle of radius 175 meters. At what velocity will the occupants of the car appear to weigh 10% less than their normal weight? Fn is equal to 0.9 mg. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a diagram for the situation. So here we have our circular hill. We have our car on the top of the hill here. If we now label all the forces acting on our car, we have the normal force directed upwards. We have gravity pointing down. And then we also have our acceleration, our centripetal acceleration, pointing down. If we now write Newton's second law for this situation, net force is equal to a negative ma centripetal. Because if we consider the up direction to be our positive, Fn is positive, Mg is negative, and our acentripetal is then in fact negative. By doing this, we would find that normal force minus Mg is equal to negative Ma centripetal. But we're told that the normal force is equal to 0.9 Mg. So if we plug that in for Fn, we'd have 0.9 Mg minus Mg is equal to negative Ma centripetal. If we now subtract 0.9 mg minus mg, we would get a negative 0.1 mg is equal to a negative ma centripetal. Now, we can divide both sides by negative 1, giving us mg. We can now rewrite 0.1 as 1 over 10, giving us mg over 10 is equal to ma centripetal. We can now divide both sides by m canceling them out, and then we would find that a centripetal is equal to g over 10. Now we remember that a centripetal is equal to v squared over r. We now want to solve this equation for our velocity because we want to find the velocity at which will appear to weigh 10% less. So if we solve this round for v, we get v is equal to square root of g r divided by 10. We now plug in the values we are given. So the acceleration to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. We have a radius of 175 meters and we're dividing by 10. We now multiply, divide, and take the square root of this. We would find that our velocity would be 13.1 meters per second. So the velocity that our car would have to have at this point would be 13.1 meters per second, which corresponds to a choice of A. So 13.1 meters per second.